Wednesday for us, Wednesday for you guys. Anyway, we are up, it is early, and the girls are just having breakfast. Good morning, Gabby. Good morning. Good morning, Sophie. Good morning. Good morning. Anyway, uh, we have uh, lots of homeschool still ahead of us today, and I have been super busy at planning something fun because somebody in our house is having a birthday really soon. Can you guys guess who it is? It's I not, know who it is. It's not you. Macy. Oh yeah, it's, it's true. Macy's Macy, birthday's first. Then Dad. Then so. Then Jacob. Then Sophie. Right. It's Sophie's birthday on the end of October, and we're planning her party. What do you want to do for your birthday party? Horses. You want to go horseback riding with your friends? Yeah, maybe I can chat. My birthday. I really want to canto. Do you think so Fiona will let you canter if you have your birthday party there? Uh, I don't know. Well, if she doesn't let me canter, then I can try it up to someone and teach them, like, heels down and stuff. So she's thinking that she wants to have a birthday party at the barn, which I think would be really fun. And I just don't know what we would do there and how we would get we everybody ride there. Horses. But that, yeah, well, obviously, we, we ride, ride horses. horses. Take but, care of horses. but where would we eat cake and all that kind of stuff if we were at the barn? <laughs> In the chat room. Yeah. Oh, I bet you we could do that. <coughs> oh, and Rihanna um, sets up a table. Yeah, she sets up a table. Oh, well, you got it all figured out, sister. Anyway, yeah, it's her birthday. I and do. We are planning it all out, and I've already talked to Fiona, and Fiona said that she's never done a birthday party because this is her, she used to work at a different farm, but now this is her own kind of business, and she hasn't done one yet, but that she's done them at the other place, and she's willing to do it for us, so I think that would be awesome. How did you like the new pony at the uh, barn yesterday? I don't know. I liked him because I thought he was as, like taller than blue because he was on a hill, but then he wasn't. That's why I said I'm gonna ride him because he's tall. I think the new horse is more go than woe, and yeah. Fiona said that she used to have him at her old barn, but she didn't have very many kids that could ride him because he had so much energy, and so she took him back. But now she has a lot of kids at Gabby's level and a little bit above Gabby's level that would do awesome on him. So she brought him back. So I'm excited to see those videos. So I'm up in Sophie's room getting her room clean for the day while she's downstairs doing her work. She wants a new doll for her birthday. This is her doll collection currently. So basically she collects um, Baby Alive dolls. This is her her favorite one right now. But she has two walking ones. She's got this one, she's got this one, she's got this one. She's got another baby alive there. Don't look, she's naked. Um, she's got all these babies, plus she has this baby, plus she has this baby Annabelle, which is my favorite. And then she's got a bunch of accessories and she's got all the little toys and bed. She has this really nice stroller that is in the attic because it's so big and we just don't have room for it um, hanging around the house. She brings it down every once in a while. Anyway, her babies are her passion. Horses, dogs, and babies. So she's gonna get some horsey stuff for her birthday, I know, but what she really wants is a reborn. Have you guys seen reborns? Um, when Gabby was a baby, I bought her a reborn because I was like, oh, she's probably gonna be just like me and love babies. And she did when she was a baby, so I bought her a reborn for her birthday. And it turns out that Gabby hates dolls, and Sophie is my doll lover. So Gabby has a reborn, Sophie doesn't. So I think it's time to buy her a reborn, but I'm having so much trouble trying to uh, find one for her. So this is Gabby's reborn. So we bought her a long time ago, and she actually, when they first started to come become popular, and she actually looks a lot like Gabby did when she was a baby. Her hair is falling out. Yeah, here, turn around. Turn her around here. <laughs> Why is she even holding it? Anyway, she's so heavy. hold her head up there. So this is her, and she looks a lot like Gabby did when she was a newborn baby, and she's That's so cute. Reborn. So anyway, this is her, and she has a breathing mechanism, so when we turn it on, her chest moves up and down, so it's like she's breathing, and she has a crying. The batteries are dead, and she has a crying thing in her, so she can cry. So Sophia really wants a reborn. You really want a reborn for your birthday, right? Mm -hmm. I want one that's always closed eyes. She wants one with closed eyes. I like the ones with open eyes better. Why can't I just have this one? You can't have hers. Can she have yours? 
She can't, you can't have hers. Yeah, 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 I get her. This was hers for her ba for her first birthday. Well, she's mine now. No, Gabby, you're gonna give that to your baby. Maybe your baby will love babies. Mm, I don't like babies. I know, but it's creepy still. Like, look at it. It's creepy. So I think she's cute. Look at all the orange stuff in there. I think she's super cute. There's probably all be It is kind of creepy though. We've taken this doll places before when Gabby was little and she was into dolls oh, and remember. people have treated us so bad. Gabby's been carrying her around and kind of dragging her from store to store and people have been like, ah, just like been mean. And then we had one cashier tell me, um, uh, when we went through the checkout, she said, oh, it's a doll. And then she picked up the phone and she phoned all the other cashiers and said, don't worry, don't worry, it's a ball, it's a doll. Because they were like getting ready to phone the police that I was letting my two year old daughter be so bad to my baby. But so yeah, it is kind of creepy. I get that. Gabby. <laughs> I just drag babies. That's how I like them. I just drag them and throw them in the dump pile. But Sophie loves them. So this is what I want to look, look for for her birthday, but I can't find one. Buy the hair. Yeah. So this doll was $500 when we bought her, and it was a few years ago. And I looked, and the prices have come down a little. But any nice Wait, ones are really expensive. Wait, is this a real baby soother? Um, I don't know. I think so. No, that's so. the one that came with her. Yeah, but it is a real soother, just modified. I just want to thank you guys for commenting on our video where I asked you to tell us where you guys are from. <laughs> So many people commented that it took me over an hour to write them all down. So the girls are all ready. They got their lists. Two sides each. Yeah, and each. they're double sided. I know. That's a lot of people. There are too much people watching us. There are all those Imagine people. If tomorrow we got like 5,000 of these. That would be a lot. But anyway, like so we're going. Here's our map. <coughs> here's oh, can the I go ones. First? No, I'm going close. Youngest bus. You guys can work on your sheets all by yourself, independently. You don't have to go one after another. So we have our list here. So we have some things from Ireland. And then Sophie's going to, here, use a marker. Sophie's going to uh, put a dot on Ireland. I have mine. Here, can I've I got. Use this? No, I've got two Sharpies. So the girls are going to, right now, write where you guys are going to go on the map. And then we'll show you. Right now, we have a bunch of people. Yeah, right now we have a bunch of people in Europe and we have a bunch of people in the US over there. And then Ireland. And yeah, we have a couple Ireland. in a Well we have to X out this one. Just wait. And then we have a bunch of or a couple of people in Australia and then we have somebody in New Zealand. New Zealand is the first is this island. But that's all about to change because when I was writing them all down, it's obvious that we have a lot of people from Australia. <laughs> downtown to mail our letters to our pen pals. We uh, wrote letters to you guys last week and then we haven't mailed them yet so we're headed to do that. But while we head downtown to mail the letters I'm going to leave you with this message from the barn last night. We found out some super exciting things at the barn last night. We're going to share them with you now. Okay so we're we are at the barn and we got some interesting news. It feels like every time we come to the barn, it's like Christmas for us. So this is what happened. We're still waiting for news from Ziggy and I feel like it's more positive than I even thought before. Like I feel like it's gonna happen for us. But if it doesn't happen for us, we got the exciting news that this girl, Jasmine, is coming up for half lease in two, after next week. After what? next week. She's available for half lease, which would mean one one or maybe more nights through the week and also on the weekends. So we could use her at least three times a week, maybe even more, depending on how many lessons she has and how much Fiona needs to use her. So no matter what, we're getting a lease horse. 
We really want Ziggy, all of us. Is it unanimous? Uh, who do you vote for, Jasmine or Ziggy? Ziggy. Who do you vote for, Sophie? Ziggy. <laughs> but I really... No, I think we are. I really like Jasmine and even more exciting news, if we get Ziggy. and we could lease both and we could lease blue. Yeah, so it's a lot of money to lease two horses, which I would be up for after Christmas. I kind of want to wait a little bit to do two, but could lease two, it is a lot of money and we could do it. And I actually am thinking about that because it would be really good for them to each have their own horse to ride. Anyway, uh, that's the exciting news at the barn today. The exciting news is that we are definitely going to get to lease a horse. We just don't know which one. And I told her, for sure, if we're not getting Ziggy, we're definitely getting Jasmine. And I really bonded with her today. I really like her, actually. Gabby doesn't love her because that's the horse Gabby had her worst fall on. And so she's a bit nervous. And I'm gonna ride her for my lesson this week and she's a bit more smooth than Ziggy. But I still really want Ziggy, so keep praying. I feel like all your prayers are kind of hurt, are kind of working, you guys. I can't wait till my little family looks like this, but with two horses, and two girls, and a husband, it'd just be so nice. Hi guys, I'm home and we just finished our yummy supper. I brought some Caesar salad with chicken. Some chicken. Now we're gonna go get some dessert. Ready to go get dessert? Yeah, we're coming. Let's go get dessert. All right, we're out here to get dessert and who is coming with me? Sophie, who is sick? Are you sick? No. No? in your eye and the other two girls are staying in the car while we get their dessert look at those there they are there's mine there's Laura's and Gabby's and Sophie's where's yours what'd you get what'd you get freeze brain they're gonna be frozen for sure now aren't you Maybe she got a hot chocolate or something. There's yours. Do you need your receipt? No, I'm good, thanks. Right. Here's a straw. We are home from getting ice cream. You guys, I think Sophia's sick. A lot of you guys probably don't know, but she was a really sick baby. I have videos but up um, on our channel about how sick she was when she was a baby and the fact that I am a stay-at-home mom now is because she was sick and even the doctor said that she might not even be a good candidate for school although she did turn out to be a good candidate for school but she does get sick and when she gets sick she gets sick anyway the reason that gabby and i think she's sick is because of this she's been walking around with a blanket on her and she doesn't want to admit it but look oh she is hot Stop it. I'm not Sophie, you're hot and your cheeks are red. Only when sick. she was in the car, like it was really hot in the car, then she was warm. Yeah, she took the blanket in the car to get ice cream. Something's not right with you. We'll know by tomorrow if she actually gets sick. I just wanted to say a couple of things. Tonight. Yeah, tonight we'll probably know. I just wanted to say a couple of things before I end today's video. One is you guys know now that we have a definite lease horse. No matter what happens, at the end of this month, we are gonna have our own horse to love, whether it's Ziggy, which I really, really hope it's Ziggy, um, or Ziggy. we're gonna have Jasmine. At least we're gonna have Jasmine. <laughs> I don't have... want Jasmine. You want Ziggy? Yeah, Gabby. because I could actually train him to do things. Yeah. And I don't like Jasmine, too. How come you don't like Jasmine? Because she's part raven. I hate her. She raven. hates And Arabian. because she's snotty and stuff. She's not snotty and stuff, but I'll tell and you. She's not my soul. 
Make yeah, nice. sometimes you just feel Bye. love for a horse and you don't feel it for all of them. But you know what? My heart does kind of feel sad. Last night when we went to the barn, we saw Ziggy. And when we saw him, he's not used in the lesson plan anymore, in the lesson in the <coughs> school. He looked dirty and he looked unloved. Dirty. Yeah, like he doesn't get brushed all the time. He doesn't get cleaned all the time. He doesn't get taken up to the barn. Oh, I just That to breaks my heart. Him. You think we could steal him? <clears throat> volunteer to ride him. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think you can just volunteer to ride a horse. Anyway. No, you can, because, like, he's not being used as anything. I know. So, anyway, we are still waiting to hear about Ziggy. I had a great talk with our coach yesterday, and she said that he's not being used in the lesson source. He is just going to stay there. He's not going to leave. So, why wouldn't she choose to Bless lease him, him to us, <clears throat> and then us just pay the bills for him? Like, it's a win-win situation for her. If he's going to stay there, lease him to us, and then... She doesn't have to pay, right? Don't you think? Yeah. Anyway, and he's a really good project horse. Too. In my heart, I feel like we're gonna get him. All right, you guys. The <clears throat> comment of the day goes to Sas to Sasha, the horse girl. I hope I'm not paying the same exact people. I pick mm -hmm. comments based on if they're relevant to the vlog that day, or day. if it's something I think that our viewers would be interested in. I don't just do random shout outs. Um, because that would just take up so much of our video time. So, uh, Sasha the horse girl asks, Hey, I thought Jasmine was ridden in a rope halter. Love the vlog and riding. And you're right, Sasha. <coughs> she is usually, a lot of people ask this question actually, she is usually ridden in a rope halter when the younger kids ride her, like when Sophia rides her, because she has a sensitive mouth. <coughs> but the person that was going to be riding her her after Sophia was older and she didn't use she doesn't use the rope halter so she told Sophia you know Sophia you have to be really gentle and be really careful with her when she you actually use. looks better with her rider. and she did really well Sophia did really well and Jasmine did really well she so actually out. turns really easily with her bridle on but I've never really ridden her with the rope halter so that's it for today, you guys. And we'll see you tomorrow with a brand new horsey video. We'll be back with a new video. I don't know who it will be. It'll be my video or Gabby's video, but we'll see. See you later, Mine. guys. See you later. Guys, I just go be done. Okay, say goodnight. Goodnight. Goodnight, bye. Pray for Sophie that she's not sick. Bye. Pray that she is sick. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.